Hello students, welcome back. This one more question is from GIT exam of 1996. Let us first read the statement, then I'll explain it to you. It says, consider the following floating point number representation. The exponent is in 2's complement representation and the mantissa is in sine magnitude representation. The range of magnitude of the normalized number in this representation is they are asking about range of magnitude of normalized number. Magnitude will depend on mantissa. Okay. We need not discuss about exponent of the number. We want to know the magnitude of number. Okay. Magnitude can be defined by analyzing these 24 bits. Now out of these 24 bits also, first bit is kind of useless uh, useless for defining the magnitude because it is going to be the sine bit. They are saying mantissa is represented in sine magnitude form. So first bit is for sine. We need not consider the first bit. Earlier we had 24 bits. One bit is used for sine. Only 23 bits will determine magnitude of the number. Okay. Magnitude of mantissa or magnitude of number are one and the same thing. Sign of mantissa or sign of the number are one and the same thing. See if mantissa has a negative sign, this number will become negative. Okay. If mantissa has some magnitude, that magnitude into 2 raised to the power exponent means that magnitude is the magnitude of number also. Okay. Now let us see what is the range that you get with 23 bits. For that you need to know about normalization and what kind of normalization is used here. When they haven't mentioned anything, by default, we mostly assume explicit normalization, mostly. And if they have mentioned, then there's no confusion. If they're saying implicit, then implicit. If explicit, then explicit. And if they haven't mentioned anything, but the question is about IEEE single precision or IEEE double precision. In that case, we will, we will be using implicit normalization because IEEE standards specify that the numbers will be implicitly normalized. What is meant by these two normalization techniques? Suppose there is some number 101110 decimal 111 okay decimal or red x point. Now we need to normalize it before saving the mantissa because in this case mantissa is only this much but actually we need to save this entire number as mantissa. See for normalizing it we generally bring the red x point here and write it in the form of 0 point something. So this number will start from 0 0.1. Okay. Now people came up with a better approach. They say, if the number is always going to begin from 0 0.1, why do we even save this one? Just consider that the number has an implicit one. That is the reason we use implicit normalization. That means, instead of shifting this red x point here, just shift it here. Okay. That means keep the red x point after the first one. Such numbers, implicitly normalized numbers, begin from 1 point something okay it can be 1.001 or 1.1 anything okay the thing is they will be in this form these numbers will be in this form now in this question we are talking about explicit normalization okay because they haven't mentioned anything moreover the options make it clear okay have a look we want to find out the range. That means smallest and largest numbers have to be determined. First thing is both of these numbers are going to begin from 0 point something. Let's determine what will be the rest of 22 bits. First bit is 1. 0 point is already known. That Mantisa will start from 0 point. First bit is 1 here as well and here as well. Next 22 bits will determine if the number is smallest or largest. For smallest number, take all of these bits as zeros. Okay. For largest number, make all of these bits ones. 
दैट मीन स्मॉलेस्ट नंबर इज जीरो पॉइंट वन लार्जेस्ट नंबर इज जीरो पॉइंट वन 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 सो ऑन टेल द लास्ट बेट ओके नाउ लेट्स जस्ट कन्वर्ट दिस रेंज इन टू डेसीमल जीरो पॉइंट वन इन डेसीमल मीन्स जीरो पॉइंट फाइव ओके so smallest number that you can represent as 0.5 what is the largest number convert it to decimal you are going to get 1 minus 1 upon 2 raised to the power n n is the number of ones here you actually have 23 ones first one plus these 22 so it is 23 that means biggest number is 1 minus 2 raised to the power minus 23 1 minus 2 raised to the power minus 23 okay this is your answer it is probably option d let me still verify if, if everything is correct yeah option d says 0.5 to 1 minus 2 raised to the power minus 23 yes now see the range is very small it is from 0.5 to something less than 1 okay that means some of you might think that we can represent very small numbers using this range only okay actually we are not considering exponent yet multiplying this range into 2 raised to the power exponent will just increase it okay so keep that thing in mind also how do i know that this number will be equivalent to this in decimal just convert it the normal procedure that we follow here it is 1 by 2 that means 1 into 1 by 2 Plus one into one by four. See the weights are one, two, three, four, and so on. So here you will have rather here you will have one upon two raised to the power three, which is one upon eight, and this will become a GP with last term is equal to one upon two raised to the power twenty three. Just find the sum of this GP. You are going to get this term only. Okay. So your answer is point five to one minus two raised to the power minus twenty three. 